Uh, uh, and I started recording this video that you guys are watching. But now, I have this massive microphone. Like, not a microphone. But yeah, I do have a massive microphone. But this beast of a camera. And now, with this camera, I can make it so the background is so crisp. It's insane. So what I do is I just pull up the monitor a little bit, and then I slide this thing. It's hard to do with one hand. I've never done it with one hand before. Actually, I've never done it with this cat with this microphone on it. All right, that's better. So this goes in here, and then that's where I record my YouTube videos. And I actually have multiple of those. I have one on this mini little tripod. The reason it's called Quick Release is because I can quickly release it onto this, from there, put it onto this tripod. And I also have another one on this tripod, which is actually what I've been using to record my TikToks with. I have this rig that I slide my phone into, turn on this light, and actually the microphone I'm using right now, I attach right here, and then we got this sick setup. But basically, I can just go like this, unlock it, quick release it. Boom. So it's really hard to do this with one hand, but then I can put this one over here. Now I can use this tripod with my phone. Now sorry, I got carried away. I was talking about this thing. I haven't got many things set up, like I said, but this one. So because this is an ultra-wide monitor, whenever I go record YouTube videos, I don't want to record like this. Otherwise, the video for you guys will look like this. I'm just going to go like this for a couple minutes, just so you guys can see how bad it is. But basically, I press this button and watch what happens on here. <laughs> productivity and your ability to attract talent. 80% of employees say access to mental health benefits will factor in selecting their next job. You don't have to tackle this alone. Paychecks can help you make employee mental health a priority. Download the guide. It was like that. So now it's in like the regular, as if I was recording from that monitor. And I press it again and it switches back. So it's just handy rather than going into the settings. And this one, if I press it, it pulls up my Audacity, which is how I record audio for YouTube videos also OBS, which is how I record the screen. Now speaking of audio, that is the last thing you have to add to the setup, which I have not unboxed yet, which I'm going to do for you guys at the very end of this video. But first, <laughs> you guys can probably see all those cables. I got this thing to hide them so it wouldn't be all empty and clean and new, but it's not big enough. There are bigger ones you can get, which I'll have to do. It's looking pretty clean. Oh, okay, no, that's the, sorry, that's the microphone cable, and that is not going to stay there. It's just there until I put the, the microphone in, which I'm going to do. But the other cables, I didn't really even do anything with them, and they're pretty clean. I put them all on there, just tied them up a little, and remember, they go through the wall, and then into the room under the stairs. And it's messy, but it's not terrible. Like, my dad put these little shelves up for it, but no one ever goes in here. I got my golf clubs in here for winter. This thing stays there. Now speaking of my dad, I want to give a massive shout out to him because he spent so many days, like he spent 10 hours some days doing this stuff for me. So like, thank you so much dad, I'm going to have to pay you. Now look at these lights, I'm kind of disappointed. They're supposed to be white right now, but as you can tell, there's yellow spots everywhere. They're all the same brand too. Those ones are a different brand, they're completely fine. But all of this Leon Lee stuff has yellow, and if I switch it to a new color, it's still the same. And same thing with these. So I'm a little ticked about that, but right here, we have the card reader, so once I'm done filming YouTube, tie the card in there, and then the footage on the computer. What I'm going to do is get a longer cable, put it underneath, and then, so it's right here. I mean, this looks actually pretty clean, new, but it'll be a lot cleaner if it's just stuck here. I also put this cable chip here, and I put this USB-C cable, which is also plugged into the computer, so I can, one, use this as a webcam, and two, which is one thing I really love about this camera, you can plug it in, and it will never die. Lastly, before the microphone, this is the audio interface, and it's so clean. It fits perfectly, and because I don't stream, I never mess with this stuff. It's always just the same. If I do start streaming, like I've only streamed twice, but if I do start streaming, I can literally just pull this thing out, and it's right beside me if I need to adjust anything. But, so clean. And I have my uh, headset here for when I record the videos. And this is still not clean, but I have to be able to change the light somehow. Now, back here, we have a boom arm with my old microphone on it. And I am going to pull this out. The thing with this microphone is it has to be right beside your mouth or it doesn't sound good. Now, that was perfect when my room wasn't sound treated and I lived with my parents and there was like noises outside of my room. But now that I live by myself and obviously this room is soundproof, that's the main thing. There's no echo in this room. So, let's unbox this new microphone for you guys. You guys are going to hear at the very end of the video what it sounds like. I want you guys to let me know if it's sounding good. Now, I also have this, which is the same mount that I put my camera on to record videos. Now, I'm going to use it for this microphone, but the thing is, I want to mount this behind the top monitor so it's out of the way, but it's not long enough, and you get extensions, which I'm going to have to get, except they wouldn't come in time for this video, and I wanted to post this video on Sunday. So for now, we're just going to use my old boom arm. All right. Okay, we got this thingy. You guys don't know what this is. This basically so when you go, it doesn't like pop like 
it's on a disc. Then we have this big solid thing. This is like a carrying case for it. It's like solid. And then I'm guessing here we have the microphone. And right here, we have the little bound. Put it on the boom arm. Or once I get this thing, you know, now let's take it out of here. In another bag. Here she is. It looks so sleek. I don't even know if I'm going to put this thing on. I honestly like it like this. I think it's so far away from you guys. The idea is it's not in frame like this one. It's out of frame. I don't even think I need this thing. So let's put it on here. Let me stand. Go. Let's take the old microphone off and let's screw the new one on. It's all plugged in now. Now I'm going to put this camera in my recording spot and then I'm going to film the outro with the new setup. And there we have it. Last thing to do, it's time to film. Now, I don't think I'm going to film my videos like this from now on. I think I'm going to film with the blurry background. So it'll look more like this. I think it just looks crisp. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And also let, you, let me know what you guys think about the new microphone. And I guess that pretty much does it. So once again, huge shout out to AudioMute for sending me all these panels. Like, it's, it looks so good. It sounds so good. So thank you so much. And if you guys want to get it for yourself, check out the first link in the description down below. And if you guys want to get anything else or just check out anything else, all the links will be in the description down below as well. And lastly, thank you so much to my dad for helping me put all this stuff up. And thank you to you guys for allowing me to be able to do this full time and have a sick room like this. So that's me for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to that like button, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, my name is Liv and I'm a 23 year old hot router and amateur drag racer. I always have a ton of car and engine related projects on the go and when I need parts, I choose O'Reilly Auto Parts. What I love most about O'Reilly is that they always have what I need in stock no matter the project. From tools and lubricants to old school performance items and even carburetor rebuild kits. And when you own as many junkyard engines as I do, you can never have too much engine degreaser. I've been shopping at my local O'Reilly store since the location first opened three years ago. In that time, all the employees have gotten to know me and learned a lot about my products. So whenever I'm shopping for 2002 Camaro parts for my 1971 Firebird, there are no questions asked and they always help me find what I need. O'Reilly Auto Parts has played a huge part in all of my projects by being a dependable and convenient place for me to buy my automotive supplies while always providing amazing service. That's why I choose O'Reilly Auto Parts. Life is expensive. Golfing tools don't have to be. That's why over 75 million customers have made Harbor Freight America's number one tool store. Harbor Freight, with over 1,400 locations nationwide. Teaching, one of the most noble professions, and I'm really bad at it. So it turns out that I am not a good teacher. How bad of a teacher am I? Let's find out together. Yeah. I'm the teacher, which which is probably a bad thing for my students. Let's be honest. I am not qualified. But let's see what Stacy has to say for herself. Yes, that is a cat. What am I doing? I give her a little check mark. <laughs> it's a hippo. Stacy, that's not a hippo. It's a turtle, obviously. Give her a check mark. Elephant, good. I'm glad that you can recognize that that's an elephant. That's good. Bad markings. What do you mean that?